Hi everyone, welcome to today's video, where our guest is the T-Deck Plus development kit from Lilygo. And let's begin with what this device is and what it's used for. The T-Deck Plus is upgraded version of the original T-Deck development board. It now comes with a custom design case and built-in GPS module. The device is primarily intended for projects involving LoRa and GPS technologies. Thanks to the full QWERTY keyboard, text input is much more convenient and the touchscreen display enhances user interaction even further. But before we dive into potential use cases, let's briefly explain what LoRa is. LoRa stands for Long Range. It's a wireless data transmission technology designed for long distances with very low power consumption. It was developed by American company Semtech, and it's commonly used in low-power wide area network applications, especially in IoT. Key features of LoRa networks, long-range communication from several kilometers in urban areas to 50-20 kilometers in rural regions, ultra-low power consumption, devices can last years on a single battery, low data rate, ideal for sensors, tracking devices and even text messages, license-free frequencies, typically 433, 868 and 950 MHz, depending on the region. In this device, LoRa is provided by the SX1262 chip. Let's now take a look at what else is on the board. ESP32-S3 dual-core microcontroller, 8 MB of PS RAM, 16 MB of flash memory, onboard PCB antenna for 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 5. Interestingly, the device actually contains two microcontrollers, the main ESP32-S3 and the secondary ESP32-C3, which manage the QWERTY keyboard and helps distribute tasks. Unlike the T-Embed, the microSD card slot here is spring-loaded, making it easy to insert and remove the card. The T-Deck Plus supports both audio recording and playback. It features an ES7210 chip, capable of recording audio from two built-in microphones, located on either side of the device. There is a 1 watt speaker connected near the USB Type-C port, and nearby battery connector for 3.7 volt, 2000 mAh battery. The device is powered on using a switch on the right side of the screen, and there is a reset button on the opposite side. Above the QWERTY keyboard is a trackpad, which also acts like a button connected to the GPIO0. The button is important for entering bootloader mode, useful for recovery after the failed firmware flash. To activate it, hold the trackpad button, press the reset button, then release the trackpad. The device features an 2.8 inch capacitive touchscreen with a resolution of 320 to 240, controlled via the ST7789 driver over SPI. The display is bright and colorful, and the capacitive touch means no stylus is needed. There is also a groove port that exposes UART0, although in this model the GPS module is already connected to it. If you're interested in getting a T-Deck Plus for yourself, check the link in the description. Be aware that LoRa frequencies vary by region, so choose accordingly. The IPX connector on the LoRa module allows for external antenna attachment, and the case has perforations on the top for this very purpose. Out of the box, the T-Deck may come with a demo firmware to test modules and play music from the SD card, or the mesh testing firmware, which is what we'll focus on the next. Mesh testing is open source software that let us build autonomous, decentralized mesh networks using a low power devices that communicate over long distances, all without the internet. While some LoRaWAN providers offer data transmission via their gateways, similar to mobile networks, that typically comes with a subscription cost. Meshtastic, on the other hand, was created to decentralize LoRa networks. Each device become a node in a mesh. They relay message to each other, expanding the coverage area and creating a robust peer-to-peer -peer communication network. For example, imagine two houses 20 kilometers apart. Peter is at 
one end with mesh tastic device and Tiffany is at the other. Their devices alone might not have enough range to communicate directly. But if John with the TDEC Plus is located somewhere between them, the devices can form a mesh and relay messages, allowing Peter and Tiffany to chat without cellular or internet. Messages are end-to-end -end encrypted, so John won't be able to read them. Replace the people with, say, a factory, a warehouse and an office. And you got a private IoT network for transmitting sensor data without needing infrastructure. This also makes it ideal for emergencies or remote areas where traditional networks aren't available. To get started with mesh testing, download the app on your phone or computer. Connect via Bluetooth to the TDEC. Enter the generated pairing code. Select your region's frequency and data rate. I think this is exactly what the TDEC Plus was made for. Let's also mention other software options. One standout is M5 Launcher, which we are covered many times on the channel, including the TMBED and M5 Stack devices. Check those videos and don't forget to subscribe. Installing M5 Launcher is easy. Visit the link in the description, select your device, plug in the cable, choose your COM port and flash the firmware. After that, you can switch between firmware on the fly. No extra tools required. You can also install the Pentester's Bruce firmware in the same way. However, it has limited features compared to other devices. Check out the comparison table for details. Developing your own apps for the TDEC Plus can be challenging, but rewarding. You can use Arduino IDE or Platform.io and LilyGo's GitHub offers code examples for working with built-in modules. You can analyze and combine these examples to fit your own project needs. This is really a fascinating device. It reminds me of the classic BlackBerry smartphones, which I mostly saw in the movies and reviews. To unlock its full potential, I definitely need to sharpen my programming skills and build something worthy of it. Let me know in the comments what you like me to do with this device and which use case you'd like a deeper dive into. Thanks for watching. I'm Arthur from Hobby Support. See you in the next video.